Hi, Lux. Now you might recognize the tiger's eye there. It's a little upside down. And I am reading Revelations. And the night before Jacob passed away, or I let him free. If he loves something, set it free. If it comes back, love it forever. If it doesn't, it was never meant to be. And God was with me that night before Jacob died, and or I, I let him free, <laughs> whichever it be. I had to allow, too. I had to be willing. I had to fight the doctors to take him off of life support. Because it just wasn't fair to keep him suffering. I had to love him more than I love myself. So I, I, I gained so much out of that. A lot of people don't get that. And I, I got manifestations from Heavenly Father. Um, six weeks before Jacob passed, I had a dream. And the dream was I was in a military installation. And there were these Terminators. Uh, you know, the movie, the, Ter the original Terminator, where he's in his metal casing. Well, there were six of them, and they were different colors. Their metal casings were different. One was red, one was blue, one was green, one was white, one was yellow, one was purple, and one was green. And they were after Jacob, and I was running with him, trying to find a place, because these Terminators were trying to kill him. So... Uh, as I'm running through this military installation, it's the old hangers, the old half-moon half, half moon hangers. And I ran into my mother in a, a, uh, a playground. She's swinging on a swing. And she's really magnificently beautiful. Her smile is just incredible. And she said, I'll help you find a place to hide. So she got us into a hangar in between the wall and a bunch of crates with weaponry. And... She said, I'll be back. I'll, I have to go. You stay here. You'll be fine. And I remember taking a breath and uh, waking up from that dream. And um, then three weeks later, I was praying. And now when I pray, I, I come to find out not everybody prays this way. But um, I was praying and in, in this prayer. I was uh, envisioning Christ my Lord in the garden and me sitting in his lap as a five-year-old little girl and I was in my little red dress that I wear and when I was in kindergarten my kindergarten picture was me in a little red dress so I'm sitting in his lap and I'm telling him you know my worries and about Jacob and about the stress of my life having a career and trying to take care of a family of four with my son so sick not really knowing what to do and just yeah in the sill of his arms in the garden and he looked down at me and he said Laurel he says it's time to give me Jacob and I said well what do you mean Lord it's funny it went dark huh. he says it's time to give me Jacob and I looked you know, and, and I understood because Jacob had been sick for a long time. Been sick for, gosh, a long time. He was sick, Jacob. He suffered and took medicine. Nobody, and the stomach problem and the diarrhea and the throwing up, you don't want to know. And, you know, tapering him up on his hyperal every night on his IV and then tapering him down every, day, every morning and watching him suffer. And now to know that it was absolutely unnecessary is just really beyond me but anyway so um you know the lord looked down and he says it's time to give me jacob love, love and he looked at me and he winked at me he says do you trust me and i said yes lord i do so in this vision i went to jacob's crib now i was only in the vision five years old and he was you know almost three and so he's a little bit heavy, so I grab him out of his crib, and I walk him to our Lord in the garden, and I set him in his lap, and he said, now it's time to walk away. And he said, you can't look back. You have to trust me all the way. Now, because I, I was wondering, well, when is he going to go? When are you going to take him away? Said, I can't tell you. All I know is I could tell you to be ready. So okay, he says, you can't look back now. 
got to trust me all the way. And I remember in this vision walking away and tears running down my eyes. And wanting to look back and I remember <laughs> looking to my left just a little bit and ah. And I just kept walking. Well, the night before Jacob died, which was three weeks later, I had the Terminator dream at six week and then I had the vision of my Lord in the garden the three week and then three weeks later I was taken off life support in the timeline two days short of his third birthday so it all really happened relatively quickly I I didn't expect I thought Jake would live another year but it wasn't meant to be and I thank God for what he told me because it didn't hit me so hard because of that and a lot of people don't get that so I understand how blessed I am. I recognize. So anyway, uh, so that night, before I, you know, it's, you know, okay, it's time to take him off of life support. Time to absolutely let him go. Now, Jacob was familiar with heaven, of course, he's my son. And he knew every time I took him to the park, he'd see a butterfly or two, or a flower, and. That's where someday we're going to be. And the night before I let him go, um, I read this to him so he'd be ready. And let you know where you're going, baby. No more owies. And no more pain. No more suffering. It'll be okay. You have lots of dog, puppy dogs and, and fields you can run in and no more, no more IVs and no more owies. Me, okay, and this is where you're going. I said, Don't take it from me. This is the word of God, baby. This is what He promised where you're going. I'll meet you there someday. But I got to be worthy. And boy, I messed up on the way. But this is the last words He really got to hear from me the night before. Now, as I read this to Him, right after something happened. And I'll explain on the other side of the Revelations 22 equation. Revelations 22, 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on each side of the river, there was the tree of life, which bore twelve kinds of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there should be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. Let's see next. Let's see. There's two. There we go. And they shall see his face. Yeah. They shall see his face. And his name shall be in their foreheads. I believe. And I'm going to pause there. That's because God is always on my mind. In heaven. And there shall be no night there. And they need no candle. Neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light. And they shall reign forever and ever. And he said to me. These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show to his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of this prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And he yeah, has Sunny. It's Sunny kitty me eyes. Sunny, Sunny went in on it. And now please forgive the interruption, Heavenly Father. This is your word and we're not supposed to add to or take away and we're not doing that. This is kitty interruption and that's okay. He's shining some light right there. It's okay. Yeah, he he's appearing. I'll start all over again. Yeah, on seven. Just 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 to be thorough. Yeah, I don't want to miss anything. Yeah. Yeah, that's Sunny. Hey Sunny, can you keep me up? You love God. Hey hey Sunny, are you bright like the heavenly light? Yeah, you know, yeah. So I said, yep, yeah, have a night. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, 
and behold, I come quickly. Blessed to see the keep of the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel who showed me these things. Then saith he to me, See, thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren, brethren the prophets, and of them who keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. Yeah, I don't worship me too. There's nine. Ten. And he saith to me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he who is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to every man according as his work shall be. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And that's 13. Next. Thirteen. Oh, wrong way. Hey, come on, Sonny. Come on. Thank you very much. We got the word going here. Mucho respecto mundo. Okay, kitty meow. Yeah. Mucho respecto mundo to the Lord your God. Sonny, I don't care how sunny you are. This is the word, man. We don't mess with the word. We don't add or take away. You know. No, we don't. This is the word, man. Our God. We owe him everything. Every breath. We owe him. Mucho respecto mundo. Okay, no? See? Me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, confirmation. Yeah, you just want munchies. Alright. Yeah, I love you. Me too. Yes. Yes, it's, it's, that's love. That's a God. God is love. Isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's pacing his chips. Isn't he? Yeah, he got you know, save some time for some love here. Yeah, yeah give me some love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we read it. I'm a mess. <laughs> but that's left. That's left right there. Mm -hmm. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Most powerful of all, you see. Yeah. Most powerful of all. Mm -hmm. It's love. Even if you're a mess, you deserve love. Right, Jenny? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So back to the word. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, oh. You see, here we go. We're just going to be in love. How's that? <laughs> Come on, Jenny. <laughs> I gotta get this going. Thank you. He says I love you. Yeah, because we don't, you know, we're still in the word and we're not adding or taking away from it. No, no, no. See, no more. No. Okay. No, we're getting a uh, focus on. There we, oh, ah, ah, no, no, no. Go back to my gallery. See, I, 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 now I'm not taking away from the word. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I passed 13. Let's see where I'm at here. Let's see. Let's see. We got, yeah, there's not. No, I didn't go that far. I know I passed 13. And I don't want to add or take two. Yeah. Let's go back to 13. Oh, yeah, we got that. All right, so here we go. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. Now, I know the Ten Commandments six ways from Sunday, and I try to walk them, talk them, and the two great and the 13th don't be a do, but I'm not adding to the word. I'm just pausing for a moment and interjecting. Uh, for without are dogs and sorcerers and lewd men and murderers and idolaters and whoever loveth and maketh a lie. Hello. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Yeah, uh, both Joseph and I have brothers named David. Yeah, definitely. And the spirit and the bride say, come. And let him that heareth say, come. And let him 
that is 30 come and whoever will let him take the water of life freely yeah we give stuff freely for I testify Joseph and I went pausing there we give things freely just because we love I know I do uh, he does too um, yeah um, for I testify to every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book if any man shall add to these things God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book and if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy God will take away his page will take away um see what that word is take away his past out of the book take, uh, see that word is weird stop it Sonny please I'm focusing here his past out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. I want to read that again just because. 22.19 And if any man shall take away from the words of the book this prophecy, God will take away. His path. Come on, Sonny, please. Now you're in the way of the word and I'm getting aggravated with you. Losing my patience a little bit. She says, well, Grandma, I'm... You know, I... No, you don't interrupt the word of God. And you're getting in the way. And I would correct you and any of my children who did the same. God comes first, foremost, and always, your creator in heaven. And we show mutual respect to him when it comes to his word. And I'm doing my diligence here, and you're kind of being a turd. Tell God you're sorry. Sonny? Well, you know, uh, yeah, he's, he can't even show his face right now. He's humiliated. I... I, 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 I uh, are you sorry, the Heavenly Father, for interrupting the word? Once for yes, twice for no. Thank you. He accepts your apology. Okay. Is we're going to read this again? Revelations 18. We'll just start over again right here. I don't mind giving God extra time or credit or anything. For I testify to every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his past out of the book of life. I want to make sure that's right. It looks like past. Page or past. There's a little thing there on the screen I can't see. Okay, well, I'm doing my diligence to be as diligent as I can be here. Focus in. At, take his page or past out of the book of life and out of the holy silly city and from the things which are written in this book. That's 19. Okay, let's go to 20. 20. Yeah, I got that twice. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his part out of the book of life. His part. Ah, see, we got it there. Good, his part. Yep, see, I, you know, I seek and I look in it. His part. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of the prophecy, this prophecy. I want to get this correct in window, you see. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of of this prophecy God will take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book 
He who testifieth these things saith surely, I come quickly. <laughs> Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Now, that's the word of God. Thanks be to God. We love Him. Yes, because I like to cut to the chase. It's a very small chapter, chapter 22 of Revelations, but we're promised as star children that we're going to have our place. We're guaranteed. And it'll all pass away, and we'll have a new heaven and a new earth, and there'll be no more tears, no more crying, no more gnashing, no more nothing. I mean, no more, no more pain for us star children. We gain no pain. So we love you. I have, I have Tiger. A little upside down there, but you get the picture. I say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll catch you. We're golden. We're golden. We can't take that away. And you can't take our purr and our love. I say, still patient. Yeah, 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 we're patient. All right, we send you back. And we're patient. And we've been patient, Katie's having me send patient with chips. And the video is going on 22 minutes. Can't believe it that long, but hey, it's worth between Revelations 22, right? In a new way, a new way, a new way we pray. And the 13th commandment, don't be do way. Just don't do dewy things. And if you have to, make it up, pay it forward. Scrape it off your shoe. Make it right. Uh, just don't be a do. It doesn't make you feel right. Uh, you might not want to do the do. Right, Jenny? Right, Jenny? Yeah, don't, don't. Be nice. Do, do good things. Do good things. Mm -hmm.